jump right in. I guess call to order. And now we have our budget presentation and our proposed budget for fiscal year 2018-19. I'll turn it over to you, Eric, who has been preparing extensively and extensive notes for this. Yeah, well, good. Thank you. So this will be the third draft that has been presented in the public meetings uh, for the board. It's gone through a couple fire commission meetings at least, as well as the park and rec meetings. And there's been at least six different opportunities for uh, uh, viewing and feedback in public meeting settings. The uh, it, it is still just a draft. Uh, there's no actions to be taken tonight. This ideally is. Uh, represents the final draft and I do not on my end anticipate many if any changes between now and the May uh, proposed adoption date for uh, the May board meeting. Um, you go through all of the notes that are in there. Uh, again, there's nothing new in these notes. I've gone through and consolidated all of the notes uh, from previous meetings that have been included and kind of re-put them in here for this standpoint so everything was in one place at one time. Uh, trying to think of what has been updated since the last time. A couple of the big ones is uh, I've upped the uh, OPEB trust contribution from 60000 to 100000 um, And that really is about it. Uh, the 1718 budget does reflect the amendments that were made, so all of those are in there, so that's the most current budget that you're looking at. Um, and then rather than go through the notes, I guess I'll just see if there's any questions from the board or comments. I did hear from both Director Naylor and Director Schwartz, so when the time is right, I have a couple things on their behalf here. I like it. The best it's looked at all the time. the OPEC trust contribution is a very wise move given um, that in three years we would be spending three quarters of a million dollars out of our operating for um, just just to, uh, sorry ARC is for yes three quarters is the ARC and then the OPEC just for a retiree yeah. mm -hmm. but you know one one or the other one of the engagements that we need to prepare ourselves for so And I don't have any new questions or comments from you. It looks, looks as good as it's been in a while, and I think, um, yeah, the continuing <laughs> process. So, yeah, I, mean, I think great job so far, and uh, we'll keep, keep at it. Did you want to share, um, or just, oh, sorry, do we need to make a motion on this? No. No, there's no action. Okay. This is just a public budget presentation. This is what we do every year. So do you want to share the other director's comments? Yeah. Um, neither of them had much either. Uh, both Director Naylor and Director Schwartz supported increasing the OPEP trust contribution to $100,000. Uh, Director Schwartz also commented that the uh, asphalt path repairways in Lucas Valley States wanted to make sure that it was known that that path is 30 years old. It needs repair. He recommends repaving and not remove and replace with a uh, base rock or a, uh, a DG surface. Um, fields costs will be similar and maintenance will be much less considering that uh, it's had no pathway maintenance in 30 years and it's the asphalt pathway that it is now. Just uh, bench management and sort of pick up. So I did include in that there's a $30,000 line for a budget for that. Um, that is a best guess at this point. Um, having, I don't have anything great to base that upon other than uh, talking to a few other people who have done similar things recently. So we still need to get a contractor out to give us a better estimate of what the cost thing will be. Okay. Anything else from the board? Okay. Questions, comments from the public? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, questions or comments. Um, Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, the budget, first of all, the comment uh, about tonight, uh, typically or commonly, uh, budget meetings are big deals and it's an opportunity to do the state of the district um, and it's kind of disappointing that we have a special meeting 
where few people can attend, even two of our own uh, directors. Um, I would hope uh, in the interest uh, to a commitment of transparency that uh, the board review its practice and uh, certainly for next year, you know, do this proper in a proper public forum, not, not on a six o'clock on a Tuesday night. Um, budget is a statement of values. It's also a statement of uh, how well we're doing uh, according to those values. And this budget, uh, even though it's the pointing in the right direction, it uh, emphasizes far too much on uh, issues like, well, employee type issues, uh, other equipment issues without really uh, dealing with one of our main areas, which is the parks and the open space. Um, I'm disappointed, frankly, that Herb wants to uh, do a paving project uh, next to the creek up there. I think that's a mistake environmentally and also for the, the public, uh, you know, quality of our parks. People would much rather walk on a, uh, in, on a natural path than a, a, a paved path. So um, if that does come to fruition, I guess, you know, the environmental aspects will have to be looked at. Um, lastly, uh, well, I, I, you know, I, I commend, I, I want to commend the process here because it is uh, uh, better than it has been in the past and I think Eric has done a great job of uh, attempting to, uh, you know, lay out some of the challenges we have before us. I do have a question though, and that is, uh, is any talks of merger or change in the fire department, is that off the table for this year? And if it's on the table, when, when do you anticipate that uh, challenge to, when do you anticipate addressing that? That's not really on the agenda tonight. Uh, we're talking about the budget. So you don't want to talk, well, Eric, I'm speaking to you. Uh, Lee, I can answer that if you want to. Uh, the, uh, it's not reflected in this budget. We don't have anything by which to go by for that. Uh, as was said at the last board meeting, we're still waiting on anything from Santa Fe to come through until we get something. Uh, and there's any level of determination made, then budgets can be adjusted at that time. So there's no active outgoing effort other than making a request of Santa Fe, is that correct? I've been in communication with their city manager multiple times and we're waiting on an initial proposal for them uh, strictly based on chief officer services and we haven't seen it yet. We've had meetings with them and there has been two-way communication. Thank you. Other questions, comments? I'm wondering what the questions you're talking about. Are you going to be going through the budget? No, this is... Uh, I mean, it's presented. So basically, You've okayed the budget, you've okayed the budget, and I guess you've okayed the budget? So there's no questions, no comments about the budget? Well, it was, it's presented to you as it stands here <coughs> tonight. Right. And we'll probably be adopting it in the May meeting. At the next board meeting? Correct. Yeah. Okay, so in other words, you, all three of you, are completely in agreement that this is fine? Is yes, I like it. Okay, well, the thing is, I have some questions interspersed uh, throughout this. So this is and I'll try to be right. really, really fast. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I've never found is where the district manager says, there's uh, the extra property tax money is going to be set aside in the park budget area, but I can't find where it is. Is there an item that says in the park budget section, is there an item that says this is extra property tax holding in the holding area? No, it's just listed under property tax revenue. 
where you can see is, uh, what, what the number is listed at, and you can see at the end that right now there is a $347,000 net operating gain within the park department alone. Okay, but who, who knows how much the extra property tax revenue holding bucket is? I mean, is there a number? Yeah, there is, it's not, so as I explained in here, the way that I run these numbers and you're looking at a departmental budget, once everything is figured out, property taxes are projected. Right. They are placed so that there is approximately a $10,000 net gain. Extra, to correct. Not extra, just a net gain to wreck and to fire. And the remaining mm -hmm. stays within the park department budget. In the park department budget, okay. Right. But where is that number? On the very top line of the park department budget. When I, I, I don't, I'm not understanding what you're asking me. So if you look, the park department budget has a net gain of 347,246. The park, park department budget has $677,350. Is for one aspect of property tax, yes. And is this holding area included in that? May, may I? Sure. When you look at the revenue section, yes. Um, all of these, the majority of them, all of them, are property tax related. Correct. If you look at the last column, the percent change in the budget, yes. You see that they are increasing dramatically. Right? Yes. Even more so than the projected increases in right. properties. So that really reflects the fact that the um, all of the revenue um, from the county is placed in the park department budget and then kind of dollied up to the other departments. That's our holding area. So all these lines yes. together, that's... Oh, so, so basically you're saying that the change in budget, let's average 29% of, of the property tax. That 29%, you're talking about the right-hand column, right? Percent change of budget column? Okay, so the 29% is actually the bucket, sort of, kind of. Is that? Well, there is no bucket. I mean, I'm looking at this as a district total, so that's probably your best place to look is on the district total page, where everything is consolidated into one district-wide budget. So if you go all the way to the end of the expenditures on the district total, you'll see that I'm anticipating a net gain across the district of $368,782. Page three. At the end of the district total revenue? No, district total on page three. Page three. Okay. At which the bottom of the eighteen nineteen budget column. Uh huh. Says net gain <coughs> loss. Yes. And you see where it says three hundred sixty-eight thousand seven hundred eighty-two dollars. Oh, so you think that's sort of kind of extra? I know you don't like the word extra, but it's it's what has not been spread out among the three different departments. It's the holding money, sort of, kind of. Yeah, I mean, holding is an odd term in the way that you're using it. I leave it in the park department as a holding because it doesn't make a, a lot of sense to spread it out across all budgets. When if I have to make an amendment later, I can right. do it from one department as right. opposed to all of them. That is what I'm anticipating as a net operating gain for this single fiscal year. District-wide. Well, district -wide. The, reason, the reason I'm using the word holding is because you used it in your memo. Correct. And when and I'm sorry if this is taking longer than it should, but it's because a holding bucket, a holding area in the park department, to me seems like a line item. And I can't find that line item anywhere. So I don't know the number that you're talking about. But if you're saying that this is sort of kind of close, then I'll take it. That's okay. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 the best explanation we can get, then I'll take it. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. I really, really appreciate that because I was just going nuts trying to find it. And then the and I, I understand about the consultant fees that you put into the park department where it's um, you're not going to do anything with the Miller Creek uh, exploration or whatever you want to call it, paying $9,000 to the consultants to look at it. And I remember that Mr. Schwartz said, well, we might be held liable if we find things on the Miller Creek in different areas that need fixing and if they do break down or let's say you know something falls over or something erodes or whatever we can't claim it with FEMA we'd have to pay for it ourselves or we might be liable because we've already noticed that it is a problem what I'm wondering is it sounds like there's a because you put that extra nine grand in the budget Sounds to me like eventually the board will probably go for this $9,000 study. And what I'm wondering is, do you have a bucket in place to pay for some of the repairs that we'll have to do after we read the study? We don't know what those repairs are. I know. So, uh, I know. No, all of that would be consideration factors. There would also be opportunities to pursue other lines of funding to help pay for some of those things. Where would, where would that come from? Uh, there's various grants and funding sources that fund all sorts of projects along those lines, and that was part of the initial proposal from the consultant as well. Okay, so again, you, well, this is probably something in the future that you're going to talk about at a board meeting, right? So I don't need to ask anymore. Thank you. I appreciate that one. Um, so then the other question I have in the park department under expenditures is salaries for regular staff. And I'm wondering, um, that's page four of 10, salaries for regular staff expenditures. 227,000, who is in this bucket? All three park staff, there's a portion of myself, there's a portion of Luke, there's a portion of Carolyn. Okay, that's what I thought. So three plus three. And then that would be also in the group medical benefits Correct. portions. Okay, great. What? Okay, and I think I only have, oh. Now this question is, is, and I might have missed it, I'm sorry I missed this. I didn't realize that you were considering a dump trailer and not a dump truck. And so when you look at page five under the park department, um, where you've got capital outlay new equipment, that's probably for the dump trailer and the utilities vehicle. $20,000? Yes, that's uh, I actually included that very thing in my note here on page two of my memo. It's a dump trailer and a... Yeah, that's where I first saw I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were doing a dump trailer, mm -hmm. which obviously is a lot less expensive than a dump truck. Correct. Great, that's a great idea, I think. It's wonderful. And I have no idea how much these little gators or whatever they are, or you can get them for it. But that's, both of those things are included in 20,000. Is Correct. that enough? Um, should be. Should be? Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. I had no idea. And I think I only have... And this is on page nine under the fire department. And this is something I'm kind of confused about. And this is basically the 1718 budget number under 5220310 land and buildings maintenance is 174,500. And it's dropped to 7,000. And I, I've never, I'm sorry, I haven't looked at this particular piece of the budget detail, so I don't know what that is. And I, I think it's a number that's 
bigger, but it's spread out over all three departments? It's, it's on the last page of this memo. Oh, it is in the memo? Mm -hmm. OK, good. Thank you for letting me know that. I went through the memo twice, and I didn't see that one. And then I just kind of wondered why it dropped so much, but it's probably in the memo. OK, that's all. Because 1718 consisted primarily of the theme of the expenses. OK. Because it says land and building. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really sure what, you know, it's not detailed to say, well, is this the kitchen? Or is this the maintenance shed? Or what? No, it's all related to the theme and stuff, but none of those are, those are all capital expenditures. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Are there any other questions or comments from the public? Not concerning the budget at this time. All right. Um, anything else from the board? Not at this time. Okay. I'm sorry, did your hand just go up in there? Did your uh, point of privilege? I can't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you ask a question? Was your hand raised? Do I have any more questions? Yes. No, I don't. Thank okay. you. All right. So then a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. All those in favor? All right. All right. Thank you.